Hey everybody, uh, Nigel here from my YouTube channel, Nigel's Chief Vlogs, how are you doing? All right, if you've been watching my videos over the past few months, I did a video uh, down here uh, back in March, just before lockdown, uh, titled uh, uh, Shipwreck QEW, which is this. Well, since I did that video, things have changed slightly. Uh, the ship, the Le Grand Humain, or Le Grand Humain, however you want to pronounce it, seems to be a little bit worse for wear. Someone highlighted this to me uh, this week. They got in touch with me, and I also noticed it myself because I commute past here every day to work. Uh, as I was commuting, uh, one of the first things I noticed was a couple of flags had gone up about two weeks ago. A school flag and the Canadian flag, all right? And then uh, earlier on this week, I noticed a yellow flag, and I think it was on Monday, yellow flag and the pride flag had gone up. But by Tuesday, the pride flag had disappeared. So someone took offense to it, I guess. Or they just didn't want it up there for too long. And they only put it up temporarily. Anyway, uh, one of my viewers from my vlogs uh, sent me a couple of videos and stills as well. There is fresh graffiti on the other side, uh, which I'll show you very, very shortly. So anyway, when I came in, uh, there was uh, some new signs. And this is what the person highlighted to me as well. Uh, new signs, uh, no trespassing, private property all along here, trying to keep people out. Uh, a couple of those signs have already been torn down and thrown in the bushes. And uh, yeah, the ship is here, but it looks like people have um, vandalized it again. Now, if you're new to this and you've not seen this before, you might want to watch my other video, which is a shipwreck on the QEW, and I'll put a link in the description below. So you might want to go ahead and watch that, then you'll understand what we're talking about. Well, it appears that someone's renamed the ship Le Grand Hermini. <laughs> There's an E missing, someone stole the bloody E. All right, this uh, Le, Le Grand Humain, or Le Grand Humain, or Le Grand Humini, uh, he's been here since 1997. That's when he arrived. The full information is on the video, uh, Shipwreck of the QBW. Uh, it was vandalized in the early 2000s, and it looks like it's being re-vandalized again, unfortunately. And that's probably why they put these signs up. Uh, as I came in, uh, there were signs, and the person who uh, sent me uh, some images and some uh, video as well also noticed more signs than I've just noticed, uh, that they put up, no trespassing, please keep out, and stuff like that, which tells me there's been a bit of problem, uh, been a few troubles down here in uh, the recent weeks. Uh, which is sad, really, because this is very much an iconic site for people uh, coming to visit Niagara and also the people in the Niagara region. Uh, to me, this symbolizes I'm nearly home. Uh, if I'm driving from Hamilton, this is like 40 minutes away now from my house. And quite often I, I call uh, my wife when I get to this point and let them know I'm about 40 minutes away. So it's, it's a very, very well-known landmark in this region. And sadly, it's uh, deteriorating and it's not helping with people uh, vandalizing it. All right, uh, the flags, you know what? A little gimmicky. Uh, I get why people might have put them up. Uh, it's pretty dangerous going up there, mind you, but they went up there, put the flags up. You know what, bit of fun. But at the same time, a lot of photographers love, love coming down here and photographing this ship. And sadly, it just makes this ship look very gimmicky and like a novelty item rather than a shipwreck. I actually preferred it without the flags. And uh, anyway, leave a comment below. What do you think? Was it better without the flags? Should someone go up there and take those flags down? And also, while I'm at it, now I understand why they made it private and put the do not trespass signs up. As you walk along here, uh, a lot of this stuff I didn't see when I was here in March because it was actually very clean. The garbage around here is really atrocious right now. It's like people are coming down here, having a bit of lunch uh, or doing whatever, and they just leave this stuff out there. In fact, when I was climbing the wall uh, just down there, there's actually human feces down there. <laughs> you can see where someone sat on the end of the wall and literally just dropped one off. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty sad what people would do and, and they ruin it for everyone else. This really is a great landmark for Niagara. Um, it's been here for 25, 23 years, 23 years. And sadly, uh, a lot of your history keeps disappearing around here and if you're not careful, this one's gonna go next. I think we need to do more to protect landmarks like this and um, yeah, and keep this area clean. It's one of those things. So anyway, thanks for highlighting this problem and I've enjoyed coming back down here. It's just a shame they've had to see the, the rubbish lying around and the garbage and seeing the ship in a worse, uh, worse uh, shape than what it was before. Um, but there you have it. This is Le Grand Harmain or Le Grand Harmini. As now someone's recalled it because they stole the E.